This guy started a new business trend called growth operating and it's a bunch of bullshit, but there is still a huge fortune to be made with it. So today I'm going to show you why you shouldn't become a growth operator and what you should do instead. If you don't already know, then my name is Chris Anderson and I help entrepreneurs develop SaaS companies faster and cheaper than ever before. And there's three main reasons why growth operating is a terrible business model. The first is that there's quite literally zero barrier to entry. It doesn't take any sort of skill at all. You're just asking an already famous influencer for videos that they film and then uploading it to either discord or school.com for them. Literally anybody can DM an influencer and call themselves a growth operator, which means there is tons of competition and most of them are going to be terrible at service delivery. Because of that, the market has gotten extremely sophisticated extremely quickly. To put it into perspective, I only have 700 followers on Instagram, but there's people who reach out to me asking to start a paid community for me. I'm not even their ideal client and they're still reaching out. And my mentor who makes over $100,000 per month has people DM him every single day telling them they guarantee an extra 5k a month to his business. So now that I have that rent out of the way, the second reason is that it doesn't build any sort of equity value. A huge part of entrepreneurship is eventually being able to sell your company, but a discord community that's directly tied to someone's personal brand is never going to get sold to an investor. If you're only making cash flow, then it's pretty much a glorified job. The best entrepreneur all made the most money when they sell their company, not from making an extra 5k a month in cash flow. And finally, the third reason is that this is just a trend for right now. There will be a few people who are good at it and they will last, but the vast majority are not and never will be. 90 days from right now, most people who are trying to become successful as a growth operator are going to end up giving up because they haven't seen the results they were promised by the gurus. But like I mentioned before, there is still a fortune to be made with this trend. It's just not by being a part of the trend. So you may have heard this story before, but back during the gold mining days, everyone was rushing to California in hopes of striking gold. And a few people did, but the majority of them never even got close. And it was because they were following the crowd. There was a few people who got extremely wealthy, but it wasn't by mining for gold. It was by selling products to the miners that's essential for mining. That's where the saying, selling shovels in a gold rush comes from. And this is the exact approach that we want to take. Instead of becoming a growth operator, we want to sell tools to to the growth operators. So how are we going to do this? First, let's break down their business model. These growth operators are reaching out to influencers trying to get them to start a paid community, which means the influencers followers are paying them for content not posted on their social media, which means the influencers followers pay a monthly subscription to see content that's not posted on their social medias. The videos could be hosted on either discord or school.com, but that's pretty much the only two tools they use. And it would be extremely hard to make a replacement for discord or or school, but we could build something that helps these growth operators find influencers in the first place. You see, we could build a software that has data on these influencers, like their follower account, different pages on different platforms, their email to contact them, etc. Making it much easier for the growth operators to find their clients. There's a couple of different softwares that have tried doing this already, but none of them work very well, which leaves us a huge opportunity. So at the beginning, we talked about how growth operating has no barrier to entry, it doesn't build any equity value and it's just a trend right now. So how does building a software solve these three problems? Well first, building a software is an extremely high barrier to entry. Nobody can see how your software works on the back end so it's extremely hard to replicate it. To build a competitor, you would either need technical experience or some money to invest in a development team which gives it much less competition. Because most people trying to become a growth operator have neither skill or capital. Plus, getting users for this would be super simple because there's practically no competition. And anyone talking about growth operating on social media right now is blowing up. The second problem this solves is that SaaS companies build huge equity value. The average software company sells for six times the annual recurring revenue, which means you only need to get the business to about 14,000 per month in revenue to sell it for a million dollars. So you get the cash flow, but you're also building equity value. Every dollar you increase the revenue by adds six dollars to the value of the company. And the third thing is that software is not going anywhere. Even once the growth operating trend blows by, people will still be doing influencer marketing. So this tool would last throughout the trend and have an even bigger total addressable market than just the growth operators. This could be used on e-commerce business or whoever else is doing influencer marketing. And the coolest thing is that my team could build an MVP of this idea in about eight weeks. So if this sounds like something you would potentially be interested in building, go ahead and book a call using the link below and I'll directly talk to you about how we can develop this idea and take it to market together.